is up guys this is Tino back with another video on the Redmi Note 7 Pro and today in this video I'm going to be showing you the latest Evolution X ROM and this is the latest version of the Evolution X which is the 4.20 version and here it says Kanja official build and if you see that the security patch is latest of April 5th 2020 and the build date is 12th April 2020 build. In the system panel we have the system updater and of course you can check for updates from here and you can also install updates I guess with this system updater and in the gestures let me show you we have the system navigation gesture and if you go to the settings you can also hide this pill over here if you want that and you can also change this gesture bar size if you want for something and you have the two or three button navigation of course we also have the touch screen gestures this is for the haptic feedback and then there is this adaptive playback I'm not really sure what it does but yeah I think it has something to do with like pausing music and stuff now if you guys want to know about flashing this ROM I would say you just need the latest beta orange fox recovery or you can also use the latest official stable orange fox recovery so if you're coming from UI you have to format the storage once that is the format data where you have to type vs and once you do that you can like straight up flash the rom as it includes the g apps you do not need to flash the g apps separately so i have encrypted storage on my redmi note 7 pro to flash this rom i entered my lock screen pin in my recovery and then wiped cache talvik system data and flashed the rom and i rebooted and that's how easy it is to flash this rom if there is an update you can also use the system updater from here and it should work fine now let me talk about some more things which I am not quite liking over here but I'll show you guys the features of course the first thing is there is the Gcam 7 by default like present over here no MIUI or ANX camera is present by default of course you can install it separately you can flash it with the orange fox recovery or magisk but yeah the default camera is Google camera and here I am noticing some problems which is like I cannot really take a selfie as you can see this selfie I took like on a different ROM not even in this ROM but here like with the stock like camera in camera mode I cannot even take a picture as you can see I'm taking the picture but it's not storing there I can't even take like a selfie right now from here so it's really weird I don't even know why they included like this Gcam by default but yeah I can go to the portrait mode and take a portrait selfie as you can see typical google camera which like captures two pictures one with blur one without blur so yeah portrait pictures are working fine but like normal mode like taking pictures selfies and stuff is not really working in this normal camera mode either i have to go to this night sight mode and like take a picture as you can see if i take a picture right now it takes the picture totally fine no problems at all as you can see it's processing everything like works fine in night sight and stuff and if you go into the settings let me show you there is no option to choose like that IMX 586 option so that's really weird that we do not get any kind of settings we have the video mode as 4k 30 fps 1080p and 720p 60 fps is there and then like the back camera resolution to up to 4k 30 fps and then 1080p 60 and 30 where like if you want to switch the fps in the video let me show you you can go to the video mode and then switch the fps from here you can go 60 or you can go 30 from here you can choose the auto if you want for some reason so yeah the google camera is not quite satisfying me but that's just me maybe and you can definitely flash a next camera if you want i'll put the link for that in the description box below now talking about the stock launcher let me show you this is of course pixel launcher still and by default there is no like double tap to sleep in the home screen anywhere so yeah in the default launcher it's not there and of course double tap to sleep and stuff is there in the status bar and in terms of face unlock let me show you again and here as you can see it unlocks the phone really really fast no issues whatsoever that i have been like noticing with the face unlock it works like a charm and the face unlock setup and stuff everything is fast to the left of the launcher we have the google now cards and swiping down gets you to the like quick settings panel swiping up gets you to the app drawer pretty simplistic now let's talk about some more things which is this like with this LED RGB remote app I have tested the IR blaster present on the device and the IR blaster has been working totally fine not a problem and the DRM info still shows as level 1 so you don't need to worry about it you can definitely play Netflix or Amazon Prime videos in 1080p I guess and in terms of banking apps yes you can use the banking apps right out of the box as you can see it passes the safety net test 
so yeah you can definitely use google pay and stuff right out of the box or any other banking apps like paytm it should not be a problem although i don't have a sim card in this device yet but i would say everything should be working fine in terms of banking apps and volte calls and stuff then wi-fi calling everything should be working fine in this evolver settings there is all the customizations let me show you one by one here as you can see there are like plethora of customization sections now first go to the themes we have the accent color you can like go and choose any kind of accent color if you want let me show you as you can see it takes a bit of time but yeah as you can see right now it applied the accent color with this like all over the ui i have been using the device with the dark theme the dark theme looks really really cool and everything looks really contrasty i will definitely recommend you guys like using the roms with dark theme right now and let me go to the headline and body fonts we have the lg smart gothic and stuff then like plethora of fonts options of course and in terms of icon shapes we have square teardrop square curl cylinder and rounded rectangle option and then status bar icon option is there you can choose it to be rounded field or circular then header image you can choose whatever custom header image if you want or any color and there is this blur behind like the quick setting panel if you are noticing below over here there is this kind of blur looks cool let me go back in the status bar we have the clock like customization and here you can change the font of this like status bar clock i have been using this slate for oneplus and you can even like increase the font size if you want to as you can see this is really cool and let me go back you can of course have the date am pm everything and carrier label network traffic etc is there rounded corners option is there so you can if you want to customize the framework values inside status bar icon we have the headset bluetooth etc icons over here and there is the battery style you can choose between these many like battery style there is also this big circle looks cool you can have the battery percentage inside the icon too so it looks like this pretty cool i would say now let me scroll down we have the volte icon and you can choose between these many volte icons we have vo only volte oxygenous kind of volte icon then hd volit asus volte icon hd caf and the miui 11 kind of volte icon now let's move on to the notifications we can disable heads up you can even have the like more customization of heads up disabling option and then ticker and stuff is there the notification tickers and then we have the edge lighting option of the screen and you can change the colors of the edge lighting of course whenever you receive a new notification and then the ambient display brightness you can control blink for call waiting and stuff is there so those are really cool quick setting panel options are there so you can like have the quick pull down from right left or always and then we have the column and row number customization for the quick settings panel then if i go into the power menu we have the advanced reboot option so you can directly reboot to recovery and fast boot from here so that's not a problem and inside gestures we have the aosv gestures again then the swipe to screenshot option is there this is the asus kind of like screenshot gesture we also have the long screenshot taking option so that is really cool you can also edit the screenshot right from here you can add any like text or anything like this as you can see so this is really cool you can like use it on a daily basis and the brightness control on the status bar sliding feature is there and this is of course really a helpful feature for me and then screen of power and torch is working super fine double tap to sleep on the status bar and lock screen as well does work super fine in the navigation panel we have the enabling navigation bar option and invert layout if you're using two or three button navigation we have the hardware buttons we have home long press and stuff if you're using those i guess and the animations we have the screen of animation to crt or scale i have been using the crt one or you can like have the default one and you can customize the whole animation of the ui in the misc settings we have the gaming mode wake up on charge disabling option charging animation is there and like a lot of things let me show you we have also this usb configuration with which you can like choose this file transfer and it will like whenever you connect the usb type c cable to your pc it will go to the like it will open the file manager on the pc that is all customizations pretty much and in terms of battery life i think it should last you about a full working day like you can definitely get six plus hours of usage pretty much without any issues and the 18 watt fast charging does work over here it also shows the battery temperature over here you can check the full usage from here now let me go back we have the display settings we have the dark theme over here night light and stuff does work fine inside live display we have the color calibration and of course we have the live wallpapers over here so that is not a problem as you can see we have the living universe and you can download like much more live wallpapers while like scrolling down in the living universe 
and also in this come alive section you can download these wallpapers and use them like as a live wallpaper and double tap to wake is there and there is an option pretty cool which says increase touch sensitivity and i am not really sure what it does of course it increases touch sensitivity but i don't know how it does it but yeah the touch sensitivity seems pretty fine pretty responsive it seems now let me go into the sounds here we do not have the me audio direct but you can disable the screenshot sound dial pad tones etc charging sound charging vibration etc you can disable them from here but no me audio direct present over here by default at least and inside security of course we get the face unlock we have the script lock screen and stuff and i have already showed you the face unlock over here it works flawlessly and if you're talking about the fingerprint scanner speed let me show you as you can see it is pretty fast too like the fingerprint scanner works pretty much fine without any issues and in terms of pubg you can play on smooth and ultra settings then you can go balanced and ultra then if you go hd you will only get high option so yeah that's pretty much it i'll suggest you guys like playing with the smooth and ultra and it can definitely give you a pretty good like gaming performance over here not bad at all you can get like 40 fps pretty much so yeah gaming performance should be pretty good i cannot really show you guys the android score because the android like benchmark just crashes so yeah And the RAM management and stuff should be pretty good over here on this ROM. So thank you so much for watching this video guys. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel on there if you have not yet. This is Tiro from KDN Tech signing off for today. And I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye bye now.